In the equity markets today, the Dow, a clear leader, up over 4%, almost shooting up 4.5% in toward the highs, up over 1,200 points and ro rising toward those highs into the close. So a pretty strong finish for the Dow as well. Still has some resistance. When you look at the overall performance, the Dow had fallen from peak to trough about 16.5%. And this rally back that's been really four, three of the last four days higher has only taken us back up just under 10%. So there's still quite a ways to go to get to unchanged, obviously from that peak to trough. And you should expect at least once or twice to see a little bit more relief selling into this rally, even if it's a sustainable rally. You generally don't see these things reverse in one move, especially given the nature of what this caused this sell-off, which was fears of a still expanding coronavirus with another death being reported in California now. That's now 11 deaths in the U.S. Super Tuesday concluded yesterday and the results of Super Tuesday, closing the gap between the two front runners for the Democratic Party had a pretty profound effect on healthcare stocks. And that's part of the reason that the Dow outperformed the NASDAQ and the S&P 500, the Russell as well. Healthcare stocks rallied, United Health specifically had a really strong day and those healthcare stocks had been beaten up in terms of the direction that Democratic primary was going in. But the results of Super Tuesday tightening that race up made healthcare stocks rally pulling the Dow up with it. And lastly, rate cuts continued on a concerted uh, basis. The Bank of Canada, who was expected to cut rates by 25 basis points this morning, cut them by 50, which again, led some, lead, uh, lead, lend some credibility to the story that the G7 phone call was about concerted monetary policy and potential fiscal policy that could lift the globe once the coronavirus settles down or disappears out of the slowdown that's caused by this virus, by the quarantines and some of the uh, workers not being allowed to work and some of the supply chain disruptions. So far, we've got the Royal Bank of Australia cutting 25 basis points, the Federal Reserve, as you know, cutting 50, and now the Bank of Canada cutting 50. We've got the ECB meeting next week. We'll see if they continue along with this and prop stocks up. But again, Dow, the best performer today of the major indices, up over 4%.